Well, I'm really a bridge I kept alive for them, for the present generation. I kept alive what it was, what was Cebu City. Junisha C is one of the historians of Cebu, although I heard that he doesn't want to be called a historian. Rather, he would like to be called uh, a writer of history. And I can appreciate that because, in truth, the book of Junisha C is, uh, well, figuratively speaking, sitting on earlier works. I like the book um, in the sense that, look, his book, um, like all books, it's not just a product of his research, but if you go to the back of the book, these are also um, information taken from researches, um, journals, and theses from other sources. No? This book, though, is very daring because it attempts to put together all the earlier works into one volume. So, a short history, he calls it, is not really a short history, it's pretty long. Ang iyahang works is, even up to the present, gigamit mangiha po na sa mga historians or researchers. Yeah, point of reference, point of comparison with the other writings, and point of further studies. So, I think that's um, that's one of the things, nga, or that's the most important impact sa Yahang works. Uh, it created questions, it triggered questions, it triggered uh, maybe to some extent uh, issues or intrigues. But through those questions, issues, and intrigues, those are the turning point for further studies. So in short, it's still uh, inspiring and inspiring more historians and more writers, more researchers to tackle and research more about the topic sulat sa mga libro. That's his greatest contribution, to have interested people to take history more seriously than, you know, just telling a story over a bottle of beer. And Junisha C. was able to draw, a, I think, a whole generation of people who really read his book. Number one, it's written from the perspective of a Cebuano, well, someone who knows the culture, you know, so it's an insider's view. You know, it can be a good start for um, reading um, on Cebuano history, just for you to really form a connection. Because if you don't know the place that you lived in, it's very difficult to, to even love. I mean, it's like, you know, falling in love with something. I mean, a painting, you need to really have a look at the painting and get to know it very well for you to fall in love with it. Um, so it's, it's that, I mean, especially with, um, with local knowledge and local history and what had happened in the past, a lot of these people are all long dead. Because of your love for history of Cebu City, the pick up of writer, the ako and yung na pick up, na makapabli ro, of things about Cebu City. And that's the reason why, um, you know, events are also very important because we, we need all this. So, what you do here is um, at uh, Palm Grass is something that's really good because you are helping the community understand. Um, and you're, you know, one of the many because the thing here is that if you have more people doing advocacies, then the better it is as long as you're on the same page and same direction. Yeah.